Well, tonight we're learning that an idea to include a controversial figure in a Black Lives mural may have come from leaders in the town of Greenberg. As we have reported, the image of Minister Louis Farrakhan has offended some because of his anti-Semitic statements that the leader of the Nation of Islam has made in the past. Our Nadia Galindo spoke exclusively with the attorney representing the mural artist. Another layer added to the dispute over this image of Minister Louis Farrakhan in Greenberg. We don't believe there was any breach of the contract by the artist, none at all. This is the contract provided to News 12 by the town and attorney Bob Bernstein, who represents artist Kindu Art. It counters claims by town officials that a rendering was to be copied exactly to the mural located under the I-287 overpass on Manhattan Avenue, instead saying the artist will interpret the mural subcommittee's ideas into original sketches to be drawn on walls and then painted. It shows that the artist complied to the T, to the letter, with the, with the, the terms of the contract. Bernstein provided us this slideshow given to Kindu Art by the town's committee. It lists leaders in historical events and on slide 40, Louis Farrakhan's name. The idea of including Farrakhan on the mural originated with the town of Greenberg. While some Greenberg residents find Farrakhan offensive for past anti-Semitic statements, others see him as a pivotal black leader in the black power movement. Supervisor Feiner ordered the image of Farrakhan be removed last month, but at a recent town hall meeting, dozens of residents spoke in support of keeping the image up. I have no problem with Farrakhan's placement here because in context, it is not meant to be an anti-Semitic statement at all, and I'm Jewish, and I take no offense whatsoever. Bernstein says the town is dragging their feet to resolve this issue, putting the mural at risk to the elements in vandalism. I'm hoping uh, that we will be able to achieve a peaceful resolution of this conflict. Supervisor Paul Feiner says the town will participate in mediation and says he won't publicly comment on this issue until that process is completed.